Patrona Sowers, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Cesar Penny, Completed First March 1996, Brian Liu, Arc 220, Fall 2023, Architect. Cesar Petty was an Argentinian-American architect, widely regarded as one of the 20th century's primary architects. He designed many extraordinary buildings such as the Patronus Towers in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and the World's Financial Center in New York City, USA. He also served as the Dean of Yale School of Architecture from 1977 to 1984. Petty had a philosophy of designing buildings responsive to your environment, purpose, and context. He avoided formalistic preconceptions and ideological constraints, and instead focused on using materials and technologies that suited the specific characteristics of each products. He believed buildings should be responsible citizens and their aesthetic qualities should go from their contribution to the city and the public. Functions and purposes. The Patrona Towers are a pair of skyscraper office wings in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. They serve as the headquarters of Patrona, Malaysia's national patrol company. They were designed by the Argentine-born American architect Cesar Pelli and completed in 1998. They are among the world's tallest buildings and the world's tallest twin skyscrapers. The Patrona's towers have various functions and purposes, such as symbolizing the emergence of Malaysia into the global economy and reflecting traditions and ingenuity, housing a fantastic collection of art attractions, such as a shopping mall, a symphony hall, a petroleum museum, and a multimedia conference center, providing office space for Patronas and other tenants, such as the multinational corporations, law firms, and financial institutions, and offering a public observatory on the 80 Sixth floor and a sky bridge on the 41st and 42nd floors that connect the two towers and provide panoramic city views. The Patronus Towers are a remarkable example of architectural design and engineering that showcase Malaysia's cultural and economic aspirations. Structural the towers are a remarkable engineering feat that combines innovative design and structural solutions. Some features of the design and construction include a tube and tube system, which consists of a core tube surrounded by a perimeter tube. The system allows for greater stability and efficiency, as well as more flexibility in the floor plan. The towers are made of high strength concrete, reducing the required steel and lowering the cost. The concrete also has a higher fire resistance than steel. The floor plate of each tower is based on two interlocking squares forming a pointed star. The towers are connected by a sky bridge at the 41st and 42nd floors, a structural and aesthetic element. Sky bridge is designed to slide in and out of the towers to prevent it from breaking during high winds or earthquakes. The towers have an intelligence system coordinating various functions such as telecommunications, environment control, power supply, lighting, fire, and smoke control, and building security. The system also monitors the movement and stress of the towers and dress accordingly. The towers incorporate several energy conservation features such as double glazed windows, natural ventilation, daylighting, and rainwater harvesting. The towers also have a district cooling system that uses chilled water from a lake to cool the buildings. Towers have a reinforced concrete core and permanent column system that forms a soft tube structure. This allows the towers to resist slab forces such as wind and earthquakes. The concrete used for the tower tools with higher strength reading up to 80 megapascals. The concrete was also specially designed to withstand Malaysia's high temperatures and humidity. The towers have a steel facade that covers the concrete structure and gives the towers a slick and shiny appearance. The steel panels are made of stainless steel and aluminum and are arranged in a geometric pattern. The steel facade also helps to reduce the heat gain and glare from the sun. The towers have 32,000 windows that provide natural light and views for the occupants. The glass used for the windows is double glazed and tended to reduce solar heat gain and enhance energy efficiency. The glass also has a low emission Sivity coating that reflects infrared radiation and prevents heat loss. The towers have a unique system of elevators and escalators to serve different zones of the building. The elevators are divided into two groups, one for the lower floors and one for the other floors. The lower group has 29 elevators that travel at a speed of 6 meters per second, while the upper group has 10 elevators that travel at 7 meters per second. The elevators also have a double jet configuration that allows them to carry more passengers simultaneously. The escalators are located in the sky bridge that connects the two towers at levels 41 and 42, allowing visitors to move between the towers. The towers have several features that enhance their energy efficiency and environmental performance, including a 
strict cooling system that provides chilled water for air conditioning from a central plant, reducing the energy consumption and maintenance costs of individual chillers. A heat recovery system that recovers free C from the exhaust air and uses it to preheat the fresh air, reducing the cooling load and energy use, and a building automation system that monitors and controls the lighting, ventilation, and air conditioning, fire protection, security, and other systems, optimizing their performance and reducing energy waste. Design issues and struggles. The original design of the towers was based on a simple geometric shape of two interlocking squares, creating a shape of eight-point stars. However, this design resulted in a tiny floor area for each tower, which was not suitable for the needs of the tenants. To overcome this issue, the architect Cesar Petty added semicircles to each inner circle, increasing the floor area by 12.5%. He also added a circular annex called the bustle to each tower, which provided additional space for offices and conference rooms. The towers are built on a former racecourse site with very soft and uneven soil. To ensure the stability and safety of the towers, the foundation had to be extremely deep and strong. The towers have the world's deepest foundation, reaching 120 meters, approximately 400 feet below the ground level. The foundation consists of a forest of concrete footings to support the massive weight of the towers. The primary that connects the two towers at the 41st and 42nd floors is one of the most distinctive features of the towers. However, it also posed a great challenge for engineers and builders. The skybridge had to withstand different movements and forces of the two towers, such as wind, earthquakes, and thermal expansion. To achieve this, the skybridge was designed as a sliding structure that can move in and out of the towers by several feet. Its flexible joint system also allows it to sway slightly without breaking. The towers are criticized for the energy consumption. The towers use a large amount of electricity for lighting, cooling, and ventilation. The towers also generate a lot of waste and sewage, which must be properly disposed of or recycled. To address these issues, the towers have implemented some initiatives, such as using natural lighting and ventilation, installing energy-efficient appliances and systems, reducing water consumption and waste generation, and obtaining GBI, Green Building Index, accreditation. Commission of the plan of the towers is placed on two interlocking squares that form an eight-point star. The facade of the towers is made of stainless steel and glass, creating intricate patterns. The towers have a tube into structure system, a common technique for extremely tall buildings. The system consists of a core tube that supports the interior columns and floors, and a perimeter tube that supports the exterior columns and walls. The tubes are are connected by outrigger trusses that provide lateral stability and stiffness. The two and two system allows for more open floor plans and reduces the material needed for construction. The towers have six setbacks that reduce the wind load and create a distinctive stepped floor profile. At each setback, the walls tilt outward slightly, adding complexity and elegance to the design. The setbacks also create sky libraries that serve as transfer points for the elevators and offer panoramic city views. A dome crowns the top of each tower with an integrated pinnacle, which adds height and enhances the aesthetic feel of the towers. Architect's career and product. These towers are a pair of skyscraper office buildings in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, among the world's tallest buildings. They were designed by the Argentinian American architect Cesar Pelli, known for creating some of the world's most iconic and distinctive structures. Pelli's career and projects spanned over six decades and involved various types of buildings, such as airports, museums, universities, cultural centers, and residential complexes. He worked for Aerosar in, in the 1950s and 1960s, contributing to designing the TWA terminal at John F. Kennedy International Airport and the Morse and Styles colleges at Yale University. He then became a partner at Gruen Associates, where he designed the Pacific Design Center in Los Angeles, a complex of three colorful glass buildings that earned him international recognition. In 1977, he found this from Cesar Pelli and Associates, later renamed Pelli Clark Pelli Architects, where he continued to design innovative and influential buildings worldwide. Some of his notable Works include the World Financial Center in New York City, the Bank of America Corporate Center in Charlotte, the National Museum of Art in Osaka, the Torre de Cristal in Madrid, the Grand Torre Santiago in Chile, the Unicredit Tower in Milan, and the Salesforce Tower in San Francisco. Pelli's design for the Patronus Towers was inspired by the modern architecture of skyscrapers. The Patronus Towers consisted of two 88-story towers connected by a double-decker sky bridge at levels 41 and 42.
Towers have a steel and glass facade that reflects the sunlight and creates a shimmer effect. The towers also have a distinctive spire on the top of each tower that adds to their height and elegance. The towers house the headquarters of Patronus, the National Patronus Company of Malaysia, as well as other offices, a shopping mall, a concert hall, and a park. The Patronus Towers were completed in 1988 and were considered the tallest buildings in the world from 1988 to 2004. Suppressing the Willis Tower, formerly the Sears Tower, in Chicago, they were later surpassed by Taipei 101 in Taiwan and Burj Khalifa in Dubai. However, they remain the tallest twin towers in the world and symbol of Malaysia's economic growth and cultural diversity. The Patronus Towers have influenced the design of other skyscrapers worldwide, such as the Shanghai World Financial Center in China and the Alhambra Tower in Kuwait and the Abraj Al Bayt Towers in Saudi Arabia. They have also become a popular tourist attraction and a landmark of Kuala Lumpur skyline. They have been featured in various media, such as movies, documentary books, and video games. The Patronus Towers are a remarkable example of Palace's architectural vision and creativity. They demonstrate his ability to combine cultural elements and create unique and expressive forms that enhance the environment. They also reflect his philosophy of designing functional but also beautiful and meaningful buildings for the users and context.